Hi, you are here at the ICNC in Berlin, and with me is Markus Hackmann, Managing Director at P3 Group. And uh, you guys do this little wonderful thing, do an EV charging index. First of all, Marcus, we're looking around charging, obviously. Big, big uh, thing here at the Intercharge Conference and Network Conference is um, uh, high power charging still the biggest trend in the industry? Yeah, I would say high power charging is very important uh, for the capabilities to, to drive on the highways. And uh, as we can see here, we have a car where it can drive around 400 kilometers with. And with a very quick charging of uh, 15 minutes, we can drive for like, I would say, 700 kilometers. And this is definitely very important to the customers. So like I said, you guys do this EV charging index. The last one you did for Asia, and you just mentioned that car behind you, the Lotus, it won the EV charging index. Can you tell me why did it win? Yeah, it won. And... Uh, Surprisingly, by all of us, it, it has won the P3 Charging Index Asia very, very clear uh, because it has a charging power above 400 kilowatt, which is very impressive. And because I'm a battery guy as well, this is a, a C rate and most of the expert knows this. Uh, it's, a, it's like 4C for this car. And this is incredible because I would say two or three years ago, we said, okay, the aging of the battery will definitely decrease dramatically if you do it like this. But from my standpoint, it's uh, the battery cells are from CATL, the, the champion actual, uh, actually uh, in the battery industry, and they should know what they are doing. And surprisingly, they, they won that clear. And uh, second place was also a brilliant car with uh, the Porsche Taycan, the new one which is also very, very good in charging, but the charging power is above 300 kilowatt. And uh, I think they, will be, they were also surprised by uh, this good value because this is a charging power of 3C and there is a difference of 1C between the Chinese and the German car and it's, it's a difference. And I think Porsche will keep pushing uh, to beat Lotus on this. So how do you go about measuring this? I mean, how do you determine the winner? Yeah, we, we drive to every time the same charging station. We have the same conditions uh, to do the charging. Then uh, the battery is at very low level and then we start charging. It's every time the same procedure. And then we have a look at the charging power and we have a look at the time for charging. And then we bring this together with the consumption of the car, which is very important because if you have a consumption which is around uh, 30 kilowatt hours uh, per 100 kilometer, of course, that's not a good consumption and that shouldn't be the winner of the P3 charging index. So you have to be also very efficient to win the charging index and we bring this together so that it is a real customer value uh, so that the customer knows which is actually the best car to do highway driving. So you said you're determining different values to determine the winner, second place and so on. Is there one value that is uh, higher ranked or that uh, helps you helps the car get up higher in ranking? No, all the measurements uh, have, have the same ranking. I think that's very important. So everything is, is important and we don't make it too complicated to the customer because, as I said, it's, it's very easy. The Lotus Emir is incredible in terms of performance and we bring these three values together to, to get the best uh, value, get one value in the end so that you know what kind of car do, do I drive. Okay, so like I said, that was the, the P3 Charging Index Asia. You did one for the US before that. The next one is Europe, I heard. Um, so you'll be releasing that in a few months, you said. Can you also, or can you already tell us a little about the trends and what direction that is going? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we plan this for, I would say, October or November. Uh, we need enough new cars, uh, but uh, yeah, fortunately there are new cars coming. Like uh, from Porsche, we have the new electric Macan, which was tested the first time. Uh, we have also updates from, from other OEM. We, we see here at the conference BMW, but also lots of 
Asian contenders uh, for the charging index. So I think it will be very, very interesting. We will see if the Lotus Emir uh, is not on the top in the end. I think it's, it's quite hard for the other cars, but in terms of consumption, uh, it can be that some cars will surprise us. And I think efficiency is also very, very important for this kind of cars. And so everybody's looking forward. We will uh, do this again on Electrif. And uh, I think everybody is yeah, curious of this. Yeah, you just said that. I mean, we'll obviously we'll bring you the charging update or the uh, index on Electrif and we'll go into all the details. But do you think, I mean, this is obviously testing cars that are available in Europe and not European built cars. But do you think that the winner will again be from Asia? You just hinted at that, that the Lotus might uh, take the top spot again. Yeah, it has to be uh, sold in, in the EU for the European charging index. Uh, in Lotus, this car is sold. And I don't think that other cars will be on the top. But in terms of efficiency, they, they can surprise us, I would say. Okay, well, uh, we'll see. We'll see in a few weeks then. Uh, thank you, Marcus, for talking to us. And uh, yeah, let's see, see what car takes the top spot in the European charging index. Thank you. Thank you.